Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I want to update you with a couple of my plants that I got going. First let's start up talking about the squash plant. Some of you remember we hand pollinated this plant indoors using some pollen that I saved in a little jar that was basically there for about two days or three days before the female flower actually opened up and blossomed and at which point I took a little paintbrush and I put it in and hand pollinated this thing with the hopes uh, that the pollen would work but as I zoom you in you begin to see that it's nice and brown and rotting away so this one did not pollinate at all so I'm gonna come in here and simply twist that right off and that's the easiest way to pick a squash you just twist it off and in that time during this last week a second one blossomed and I did the same thing but at, at that point the pollen must have been even more dry so I highly doubt this one pollinated and considering it's been shrinking in size the last two three days now I don't have much hope for it but it is turning more yellow so I'm gonna wait before picking it and see what happens and if I take you up a little higher basically at the base all of this is new growth in this lot past week I have not only a ton of new leaves grow growing I have a bunch of new flowers and you, be, you could even see a little female flower right there at the bottom and there's I think another female flower right back there and a ton of male flowers opening up and you could tell in the early stage the difference because the female flower is very small and you see you actually see the fruit right behind it you see right there and the male flower is right above that large flower right there and the male flowers of course there's gonna be a bunch more male flowers all on the inside there compared to the female flowers and it looks like there's actually some that are beginning to open up soon and get bigger so probably in the next week I'll have some flowers and I'll keep, keep giving these weekly updates and hopefully we get some squash indoors and I expect this plant to get nice and huge for me this thing is a uh, straight neck squash and recently I actually added some new fertilizer some new nutrients in it and I filled it up to always my 1500 milliliter mark using these half gallon mason jars and it looks like it's about half about at a thousand so we'll cover that, that back up and the nice thing about painting these jars is if you simply before painting it if you put a, a strip of tape and then paint it all you got to do is just peel it back and you'll have a nice window to look in and see where your water level is and then you could just cover it back up to keep the light out and that's the nice way nice thing about doing a little DIY project you get to turn the customize the item however you need and down here we got our beautiful hydroponic orange seedling and it's looking a lot bigger than it did last week let's zoom in it's put on several new leaves and it's putting on a bunch of new ones I actually put it in a little started on the f four or five and I put it in a little jar just to make it a little bit more stable and I just like how it looks a little more and let's move it out just to take a quick look at what the root system looks like see if anything on the bottom no nope, nothing poking yet so we'll put that back down but you can see it's doing well and in the past week has had a ton of progress and let's come up to the cucumber plant this is an English cucumber and put on a bunch of new leaf growth and let's actually move it out to bring it a little closer there we go look at this nice beautiful plant and the leaves are getting nice and large it's getting almost the size of my hand and it's growing nice and compact if I bring you a little bit lower you can see look at nice nice and compact this is growing I'm keeping it pretty close to the light about three inches away and it's growing very well and putting a lot of new growth 
as well as the side growth is beginning to develop. And I'm not quite sure about if I want to pick the suckers yet or let them grow. I'm not sure how big this plant grows exactly. This is going to be my first time trying this. So if anybody has grown this plant, let me know. Give me some little tips or a little information. Would love some more details. And for now, it's growing very well. This plant was started on April 21st. And it's already May 15th. So it's basically almost about a, almost a month. And I think the progress is pretty good in that time. And if I pull this out, let's see what these roots look like. Oh yeah, that looks really good. And that's the nice thing about cucumber plants. They grow very fast and very prolific. It, yeah, it's yeah, it looks like it goes all the way down there. Look at this, if I keep pulling it. Now let me just zoom you back. Look at this beautiful root system. Let's put that back in there. Keep it expo not exposed to the light for too long. Quick second is not so bad. And let's see what the water level looks like. That's looking pretty good. It's basically about right here probably around 1400 milliliters and it's doing really well and actually the leaves smell pretty good when they're brushed and they're moved around it smells quite nice and I'm really enjoying this plant right now the only thing is I'm not sure if I want to let this just grow wild and go all over the floor or should I get a trellis what do you guys think let me know down below and as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.